Hey, welcome back, shipmates. Once again, my name is Nicolia, and I'm back with more content to let y'all know things about the merchant semen, how to join the merchant semen, and what you need to know about the merchant semen. So, as y'all know, I'm a sailor. I sail with merchant semen. I was with MSD, and now I'm going to SIU. Video coming soon about that. But I'm just here today to tell y'all the difference between MSC and SIU. So, I don't know much, like the complete difference. They're kind of like the same. What I do know that people have information twisted and tied up between the two. Um, some people don't know about it, but some people think they know much about it. And I'm just gonna let y'all know what I know about it. And these are facts. So, starting with MSC. We all know that MSC is a government job as a contractor. So basically, like I said in my very first video, you can go back and watch. Um, your mission is, when you're with MSC, the mission is to sell out and attend or help the Navy. Um, you help them by medium, meeting them in certain areas. So in certain areas you would meet them in, whether it's in the Middle East, wherever, whatever, whatever. Um, to give them store like food, or they give you food and you give them fuel, or what else? Emma, it's all different. Um, I see a lot of videos up here about MSC and SIU, but nobody really have detailed videos as detailed as mine. So I'm gonna keep making content. Hopefully. It's not too much that I'm saying. Hopefully, I'm just in the long. I'm just along the lines helping you guys out, and that's it. Um. So with SIU, what I do know about SIU is, um, the job is for commercial ships. I did see a couple USNS ships that was looking that had jobs available av available as well. Sorry, I'm so sad. But I seen a couple USNS ships that had jobs available as well. So I'm guessing there's some ships that meet people through MAC as well, maybe, because obviously if it's at NS, I mean, you, USNS, that's MAC ships, so obviously they work together sometimes. Boom. So you can be with both. You can be with MAC and you can be with SIU. Um, I know that you have to pay this something called dues, which would be around like $19.00. I believe it's every two weeks, every time you get paid. We get paid bi weekly. Both both um jobs get paid bi weekly. And get unemployment once you come back off the ship because you're not employed at that time. Like you're employed through the union, but you're not like working at that time. So you can get unemployment. But with MSC, even though you're not at work, you're still kind of working because you're on leave, so you're still getting paid while you're on leave. If you watch my other videos, then you already knew that. Go watch my other videos. I'm telling y'all. So, um, what else about SIU that I just learned? Mm, uh, I should have wrote this down, didn't y'all? SIU, um... A few moments later. Oh, boom. MSC, you have to sell out for a minimum of six months. Six months, the minimum. You have to sell out. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. Trust. If anybody know, I know. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. But with SI, but with SIU, you can sell out for ten days, thirty days, sixty days, forty-five days, ninety days, one hundred and twenty days, four months, six months. Literally, different times. It's jobs up there that literally only need people for 30 days, 45 days. You And then once your time, another thing, MSC, you probably, you cannot, like, you would not, so say if you're on a ship with MSC, your four months, you put your relief day into the person, you, that's the person, this person on the ship who basically gathers all your information and stuff like that when you first get on, when you about to get off. You get once it's time for you to get off. You give well once you first get on. You give the person um, your relief date. That's the day that you want to get off the ship. 
but it remain you has to be a minimum of four months so you can go you can put six months from the day you get on you can put six months you can put seven months from the day you can put eight months but long as it meets four months the minimum even once you do that four months and you put your release date in for four months only you can't get off that ship until a relief come to relieve you off that ship so they have this thing called overdue pay Overdue pay is you getting paid because you're overdue. So they give you like an extra $25 or something like that for, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it, because I know how the girls like to tussle, but I'm pretty sure it's $25, $30, something like that, extra, on top of what you're getting paid a day um, until your relief comes. But that overdue pay doesn't start until you pull into port. So if you're overseas and that day come where it's time for you to get off, it doesn't start yet until you pull in support. So once you pull in support, then you're overdue. And if the person that there to relieve you, you just got to stay on that ship. Yeah. Until they come. Who knows when that will come? So you basically, uh, they'll pay you for it. Now I'm not paying. Trust. Oh, they're going to pay. But I don't like it. So that's how you... Once that four months is up with SIU, or whenever your time is up, so say you was up there for four months, um, as soon as that day comes for your four months to be up, you off that ship. You don't got to wait. They got your plane ticket ready. got everything ready. You off that ship. You don't have to wait for nothing else. Your 30 days is up because you know they don't have to. You don't got to just do four, um, four months. You got you can do 30 days, 45 days, anything. I'm telling you. Once your time is up with SIU that you did on the ship, you get to go. You get to leave. You don't gotta wait for no relief, nothing. You get to go. So it's just like that. Um, like I said before, you can stay or well, SIU you can stay home as long as you want to until you're ready to go to the hall and pick your ship again. You do get to pick your own ship and whatever you're um qualified for on your credentials, you can sell as. So you can go sell as different jobs. So like I can I qualify for SU, uh, SU Wiper OS. Literally, I could sell as any one of them. Each different ship with SIU, with MSC, you pick a job and you stay set job until you do on the job training to change your job. And what you can sell as a temp on different ships. So say if I'm, I'm a wiper normally on an um, MSC ship, I'm going to be a wiper. I have a wiper detailer. My detailer is going to give me a ship. And when she gives me a ship, I'm going to go up there as a wiper. If I decide I don't want to do that and on that ship, I still have to continue to be a wiper. But I can get on the job training to be something else. Literally. Once you just, like you finish your on the job training and everything, you can sell as a temporary whatever that you did on the job training for. Sell as that. Um, and when you get back home, you just do the things that you have to do to basically make that a permanent position. But with them, literally, whatever you qualify for, you have endorsements for on your credentials, you basically just sell it, just whatever you want to. And you get to pick your own ship. Um, it's this app called Marine Traffic. So anytime you see a ship name or you see anything, you literally can type you literally can type the ship name into marine traffic. It will tell you where the ship is or where it last was. It's not gonna tell you where it's at, it's gonna tell you where it last was. Because you you know you can't drop your love. You know the vibes. You can't drop your love where you at. That's how that's how that's how people get caught up. You feel me? Same thing. You can't drop your love. You gotta let them know where you was. So it's gonna tell you where they was at. It's gonna tell you um, the ship number. Like you got like an IMO number. That's like the ship number. And um, what type of ship it is. So it could be a tanker, it could be a cargo ship, a carrier, a passenger ship, a cruise ship. Like it just tells you all the different types. So period, go download that marine traffic. Anytime you see a ship name, go look it up. Just get in the hang of that or whatever. Different ships look differently. I personally, I don't like certain ships. We all know this. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know. When I don't like a ship, I don't like a ship. But I'm getting my mask straight so that I can stay on the ship because 
one thing about me, if I don't like something, I don't like something. But I'm trying to get my stuff together, so I really need to stop doing that. Um, yeah, but that's really the difference between SIU and MSC. I think I covered everything. Um, let me make sure. Let me let me brainstorm. Let me make sure. I covered everything. Oh, so MSC got this thing called a pool. After this, this is it. So I'm just telling y'all the difference between these two. Um, MSC got this thing called the pool where you check in and basically you'll learn more about it in another video or when you actually join. Um, basically, it's, it's not an actual pool. It's a place that you go to on base, which you don't go there actually. It's a place on base called the pool and that's where your detailers are and you check in via email so you email them every morning to muster once you become a sailor you'll actually know what mustering is it's just like you checking in basically you do that in person when you're on a ship too but you muster every morning while you're at home through email and um that's how you count you are counted for so they check your name type type stuff like okay nicole johnson boom like that with the hall with siu um, Seafarers International Union. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyway, with the Union Hall, you go to the Union Hall and you sit there and you look at the board. And the board is not literally a board. I don't like people say that because it's not really a board. And it had me thinking it was old fashioned, but it's not. It's really a flat screen TV. And it's like two flat screen TVs on the wall. And you sit and you just look. Like, you know how the airport is when it got a bunch of listings on the flat screen TVs? It's just like that at the end, y'all. Got a bunch of listings. It tell you, the, it tell you the, the department. It tell you the job that's needed, the time limit that you needed, the ship, and where the ship port is. So, where it's going or where it's from. So, like, a ship can be from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but it could be in, like, Spain at that moment. It tell you all of that, and it tell you when you need to leave back so literally you see you look at the board flat screen tv and um you find a job and when you find that job you go to you walk up to the front it's a man or a lady or whatever a person you tell them the job you tell them your name you tell them what you tell them your information and you pick your own ship and what job you want to go up there for you have to be qualified for that job though but it may see him do that your detailer gonna pick your ship for you. Your detailer gonna pick, um, yeah, your detailer gonna pick your ship for you. And if you don't like it, then you just don't like it. We have a couple good detailers on the East Coast, cause I'm from Virginia. They do got a West Coast and the East Coast in California. That's the West Coast, Virginia's East Coast. But the, the East Coast detailers, it's only one good detailer and that's like the SU detailer, supply utility. I heard he was really nice, really cool. But them other detailers. Actually, I heard the OS detailer, cause she kind of nice too a little bit. But them that wiper detailer, yeah. If you know, you know. Basically, they gonna put you wherever the fleets need you. If you know, you know. You don't choose nothing. It's no negotiating. It's no talking. It's no. You can try to do a ship to ship, but it's really like. Um, a 60 40 chance if you're a wiper because your detailer that detailer mm, I, ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna say too much but I'm telling y'all but the detailer is supposed to get um they rotate like every couple months or something like that I heard but yeah basically it, I ain't gonna drop no names but the wiper the wiper detailer right now yeah you gonna be on she don't really be giving no good shit. She put you wherever you need to be placed. So, yeah. And really, honestly, I seen somebody that post the other day. Um, also, join those groups on Facebook. It's the MSC 101 group and it's the SIU Job Board group. Join those groups. That's the name of the groups, obviously. Join those groups and you can, like, see what people be doing and what they got going on or different ship names and stuff. You can, you can look up the ship names and all that stuff. 
But that is the different things between SIU and MSC. Thank you for watching. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at ni.bucks, not dot bucks. You can follow me on TikTok at dot Nicolia, dot N I C O L Y A. Also, Facebook, not bucks. And obviously, you got my YouTube because you're here. So, go watch some other videos and subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. Like, I'm telling y'all, I always say that all my videos help me, help you, help me help you because i'm making content i'm trying to get y'all out here we gotta get out of, we gotta get out of the trenches everybody gotta get out of the trenches even if you're not in the trenches you can move up in life so we're trying to help each other i'm trying to move up in life too come on now shit mate we trying to do this so yeah subscribe like and comment y'all give me feedback down there below i'm gonna put some links in the um description box of the secret reunion and also mhc just in case you ain't sit on the other two videos and like i said y'all subscribe like and comment thanks for watching oh boom mhc you have to sell out for a minimum of six months six months the minimum you have to sell out. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. Trust. If anybody know, I know. It's no if, ands, or buts about it. But with SI, but with SIU, you can sell out for 10 days, 30 days, 60 days, 45 days, 90 days, 120 days, 4 months, 6 months. Literally, different times it's jobs up there that literally only need people for 30 days 45 days you and then once your time another thing msc you probably you cannot like you would not so say if you're on the ship with msc your four months you put your relief day into the person you that's the person is this person on the ship who basically gathers all your information and stuff like that when you first get on when you about to get off you get once it's time for you to get off you give well once you first get on you give the person um your relief date that's the day that you want to get off the ship but it remain it has to be a minimum of four months so you can get off you can put six months from the day you get on you can put six months you can put seven months from the day you can put eight months but long as it meets four months the minimum even once you do that four months and you put your relief date in for four months only you can't get off that ship until a relief come to relieve you off that ship. So they have this thing called overdue pay. Overdue pay is you getting paid because you're overdue. So they give you like an extra $25 or something like that for, I'm not sure, don't quote me on it because I know how the girls like to tussle, but I'm pretty sure it's $25 to $30, something like that, extra on top of what you're getting paid a day. Um until your relief come. But that overdue pay doesn't start until you pull into port. So if you're overseas and that day come where it's time for you to get off, it doesn't start yet until you pull into port. So once you pull into port, then you're overdue. And if the person that there to relieve you, you just gotta stay on that ship. Yeah, until they come. Who knows when that will come? So you basically, uh, they'll pay you for it. Now I'm not paying, trust. Oh, they gonna pay but i don't like this so siu once that four months is up with siu or whenever your time is up so say you was up there for four months um as soon as that day comes for your four months man up you off that ship you don't gotta wait they got your plane ticket ready got everything ready you off that ship you don't have to wait for nothing else your 30 days is up because you know they don't have to you don't gotta just do four um four months you got you can do 30 days 45 days anything i'm telling you once your time is up with SIU that you did on the ship, you get to go. You get to leave. You don't got to wait for no relief, nothing. You get to go. So it's just like that. Um, Like I said before, you can stay with SIU. You can stay home as long as you want to until you're ready to go to the hall and pick your ship again. You do get to pick your own ship. And whatever you're um, qualified for on your credentials, you can sell as. So, you can go sell as different jobs. So, like, I can, I qualify for SU, uh, SU Wiper, OS, 
literally I could still ask any one of them each different shit with SIU. With MSC, you pick a job and you stay set job until you do on the job training to change your job. And what you can sell as a temp on different ships. So say if I'm, I'm a wiper normally on an MSC ship, I'm going to be a wiper. I have a wiper detailer. My detailer is going to give me a ship. And when she gives me a ship, I'm going to go up there as a wiper. If I decide I don't want to do that and on that ship, I still have to continue to be a wiper, but I can get on the job training to be something else. Literally. Um, once you just like you finish your on job training and everything you can sell as a temporary whatever that you did on the job training for sell as that um and when you get back home you just do the things that you have to do to basically make that a permanent position but with them literally whatever you qualify for you have endorsements for on your credentials you basically just sell it just whatever you want to and you get to pick your own ship um it's this app called marine traffic so anytime you see a ship name or you see anything you literally can type you literally can type the ship name into marine traffic it will tell you where the ship is or where it last was it's not gonna tell you where it's at it's gonna tell you where it last was Cause you you know you can't drop your love you know the vibes you can't drop your love where you at that's how that's how that's how people get caught up you feel me same thing you can't drop your love you gotta let them know where you was so it's gonna tell you where they was at it's gonna tell you um the ship number like you got like an IMO number that's like the ship number and um what type of ship it is so it could be a tanker it could be a cargo ship a carrier a passenger ship a cruise ship like it just tells you all the different types so period go download that marine traffic anytime you see a ship name go look it up just get in the hang of that or whatever um what else different ships look differently i personally i don't like certain ships we all know this if you follow me on instagram then you know when i don't like a ship i don't like a ship but I'm getting my nine straight so that I can stay on the ship because one thing about me, if I don't like something, I don't like something. But I'm trying to get my stuff together, so I really need to stop doing it. Um, yeah, but that's really the difference between SIU and MSC. I think I covered everything. Um, let me make sure. Let me let me brainstorm. Let me make sure. Mm -hmm. You, yeah, pretty much. Thing. Yeah, I covered everything. Oh, so MSC got this thing called a pool. After this, this is it. So I'm just telling y'all the difference between these two. Um, MSC got this thing called the pool, where you check in and basically you'll learn more about it in another video or when you actually join um basically it's it's not an actual pool it's a place that you go to on base which you don't go there actually it's a place on base called the pool and that's where your detailers are and you check in via email so you email them every morning to muster once you become a sailor you'll actually know what mustering is it's just like you checking in basically. You do that in person when you're on a ship too. But you muster every morning while you're at home through email. And um that's how you count you are counted for. So they check your name type type stuff. Like, okay, Nicole Johnson, boom, like that. Um with the hall with SIU, um, Seafarers International Union. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyway, with the union hall, you go to the union hall and you sit there and you look at the board. And the board is not literally a board. I don't like people say that because it's not really a board. And it had me thinking it was old fashioned, but it's not. It's really a flat screen TV. And it's like two flat screen TVs on the wall. And you sit and you just look. Like, you know how the airport is when it got a bunch of listings on the flat screen TVs? It's just like that at the end, y'all. Got a bunch of listings. It tell you the, it tell you the, 
um the department it tell you the job that's needed the time limit that you needed the ship and where the ship port is so where it's going or where it's from so like a ship can be from fort lauderdale florida but it could be in like spain at that moment it tell you all of that and it tell you when you need to leave back so literally you see you look at the board flat screen tv and um you find a job and when you find that job you go to you walk up to the front it's a man or a lady whatever a person you tell them the job you tell them your name you tell them what you tell them your information and you pick your own ship and what job you want to go up there for you have to be qualified for that job though but msc you don't do that your detailer gonna pick your ship for you your detailer gonna pick um yeah your detailer gonna pick your ship for you and if you don't like it then you just don't like it we have a couple good detailers on the east coast because i'm from virginia they do got a west coast and the east coast in california that's the west coast virginia's east coast um yeah basically my, the, the east coast detailers it's only one good detailer and that's like the su detailer supply utility i heard he was really nice really cool but them other detailers actually i heard the os detailer she kind of nice too a little bit but them that wiper detailer yeah if you know you know basically they're gonna put you wherever the fleet needs you if you know you know you don't choose nothing. There's no negotiating. There's no talking. It's no. You can try to do a ship to ship, but it's really like um, a 60 40 chance if you're a wiper because your detailer, that detailer, mm, I ain't gonna tell you, I ain't gonna say too much, but I'm telling y'all. But the detailer is supposed to get, um, they rotate like every couple months or something like that. I heard. But yeah, basically, it, I ain't gonna drop no names. But the wiper, the wiper detailer right now, yeah, you gonna be on. She don't really be giving no good shit. She put you wherever you need to be placed. So yeah, and really, honestly, I seen somebody who post the other day. Um, also join those groups on Facebook. It's the MSC One 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 group, and it's the SIU Job Board group. Join those groups. That's the name of the groups, obviously. Join those groups, and you can like see what people be doing and what they got going on, or different ship names and stuff. You can you can look up the ship names and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so you get to, you get to pick your ship. That's the two difference. That's the two different. Um, well, actually, that's more than two. But that is the different things between SIU and MSC. Thank you for watching. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at ni.bucks, now dot bucks. You can follow me on TikTok at dot Nicolia, dot N-I-C-O-L-Y-A. Also, Facebook, now bucks. And obviously, you got my YouTube because you're here. So go watch some other videos and subscribe y'all subscribe like i'm telling y'all i always say that all my videos help me help you help me help you because i'm making content i'm trying to get y'all out here we gotta get out of, we gotta get out the trenches everybody gotta get out of the trenches even if you're not in the trenches you can move up in life so we trying to help each other i'm trying to move up in life too come on now shit mate we trying to do this so yeah subscribe like and comment y'all give me feedback down there below i'm gonna put some links in the um description box of the seafood virginia and also msc just in case you ain't sit on the other two videos and like i said y'all subscribe like and comment thanks for watching